Hey folks, um, so welcome to our HIIT workout for today. So today we're going to go through a Tabata workout. So it'll be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we'll repeat that for eight rounds for each exercise that we're going to do today. Um, so as we're going through, go at your own pace as you're going through this Tabata workout. So push yourself as you need, slow down as you need, and recover. Okay, it's your workout, so you do what's right for you. Uh, focus on technique, so we always want to make sure that we're uh, doing that proper technique, so we're getting the most out, out of the exercise, so really focus on that as you're going through, rest, refine as you need, um, and then lastly, uh, let's have fun as we're going through the workout, uh, we're going to do something good for our health and fitness, but let's also have fun while we're doing it, so let's pop down on the ground, we'll start with our warm up, uh, so we're going to get a triangle with that front leg, pull the back leg uh, in behind, hands on either side of the knee, and then Nice and tall and long through the spine. We're going to hinge forward from the hip. And we're going to feel that stretch through the glute. So we can play with the angle. We can come a little bit towards the feet if we want. Kind of dropping down into it. Keeping the spine long, not rounding through the back. Having the movement flexibility come from the hip and stretch out those glutes. Good. From there, we're going to pop up. We're going to walk our hands away from our feet, and that's going to give us a nice stretch through the front of the hip there. You can look over your left shoulder. Uh, if you're like me and you're, uh, you have the left knee forward, you can look over that left shoulder, look over whichever shoulder um, to give you that little bit more of a stretch. You feel that gentle stretch through the front of the hip, opening things up there. Good. We're going to go back to the middle, and then we're going to switch legs. Okay, so it's going to be the right leg that's forward now, for me at least, in that triangle. Left leg pulled in behind, hands on either side of the knee. I'm going to hinge forward with that nice long spine. Feeling the stretch through the glute. Good. From there, we're going to come back up. We're going to walk the hands away, looking over that right shoulder now. Nice big stretch through the front of the left hip. And that's great. From there, we're going to stand up. We're going to tie in that upper body. So we're going to be reaching back and reaching back with my right hand, getting that stretch through. Uh, the chest, front of the shoulder, and then I'm going to bring my elbow forward, bring my left knee up to touch my right elbow. Okay, so we're connecting the core, working on our balance a little bit, while we're also getting that stretch through the upper body. Okay, we're going to hit the other side now. So reaching back with the left, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. And that's great. Okay, now we're going to do a little lunge. We're going to step forward, and we're going to rotate towards that side that we're stepping forward with. So left leg step forward. I'm going to rotate to my left, and I'm going to drive back up. So I'm getting the legs fired up. I'm getting them loaded, and I'm adding a little bit of movement through the trunk there. Only go as far as is comfortable for you. One more. Good. Now we'll hit the right side. Step forward with my right leg, rotate my right leg. Load in that right leg. Here we're going to do two more reps. Okay, last one. And time. Okay, great work. Um, so today you can see our first exercise is going to be a close grip push up. So it's going to focus a little bit more on the triceps, the hands will be in a little bit closer. Uh, as we go down in that push-up, you can either do it off the toes or you can modify it to where you're doing it off your knees. So do what's right for you, okay? Um, so let's get down on the ground and we're going to get started here. So first exercise, close grip push-ups. Remember, it's eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Starting session. And here we go. So pace yourself because these are really going to build up. Focus on that good technique. Again, as I said, the modification we can do off the knees if we need. Okay, so it's up to you. We're resting. Rest. 
Okay, so take advantage of that rest. 10 seconds is going to go by quick, and then we'll be back into it again. So we're getting set here. Keep the core tight. Don't let the back drop. And time. Okay, Freeze. another 10 seconds. Catch our breath. So you may find you need to modify as you go through. You may start on the toes. You may need to drop down uh, onto the knees. We're getting set here. So again, do what's right for you. Keep the technique good. We're maximizing the exercise's benefit. And time. All right, so I'm already feeling it really start to kick in on the tricep, so I may have to modify on this one. So you, again, do what's right for you. I'm going to start my modification here. I'm going to pace myself, focusing on that good technique as I go through the exercise. My hands are a little closer to get that extra emphasis on the tricep. And time, we're resting. Whew. All right, so I think that puts us about halfway. Okay, we're getting set again here. Again, I'm just going to do a press. Rest for a few seconds at the top. You get set for another good one. Press, rest a few seconds at the top. So you go at the pace that's right for you. And time. Okay, we've got our 10 seconds, catching our breath. Okay, get set again. That closer grip. And time. Okay, two rounds left. We've got two rounds left on these closed grips. Get a little breather here. Okay, we're getting steady. We're getting set. Here we go. Okay, one left, one left. Doing great, everyone. A little breather. Okay, here we go, last one. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong here. Finish strong, good technique. Oh, good work, good work. Session. We did it. All right, nice work there. So we can uh, grab a drink, grab a breather, let our let our triceps rest there. Whew. Okay. So our um, you can still got a little bit of time to catch our breath, but. Second exercise is going to be a bent over eye raise. So it's for that upper back, back of the shoulders. Um, so we're going to do a nice hinge forward. So the low back's going to be nice and neutral, so nice and flat. <coughs> arms are going to be hanging below us. And then we're just going to be lifting the arms straight up. So kind of like we're in a Y there. Um, you're going to feel the upper back, back of the shoulder engage at the top. Um, again. Keep that low back nice and neutral. Find that you're not rounding through the low back because um, we're also working on our posture here a little bit. Okay. Um, so yeah, grab one more drink if you need. Take one big deep breath and we'll get started with the eye raises. Starting session. Okay, so let's get set. Hinging forward, arms are hanging, and then we're just lifting, getting that good squeeze through the upper back. I try and stay pretty relaxed through the neck. And you're going to lift as high as you comfortably can.
Okay, good work. We've got 10 seconds. A little recovery through those muscles in the back, and then we'll get into it again. Make sure you're breathing through the exercise. Good, keep that posture. You can feel it through the low back. You'll feel your hamstrings, maybe your glutes a little bit. And then for sure that upper back engaging as you're going through the movement. Rest. Take a rest. Okay. All right, here we go. Good, keep yourself paced. You got this. Thinking about that good posture, this is gonna help create. And time. Rinse. Okay, taking a breather. Good work so far. Here we go. Good work. So that's our halfway point. Doing great, doing great. Okay, we're getting set for our next one. Hinging forward. Here we go. Pulling those shoulders doing the work for us here. Okay, we're over halfway now. We have three left, three left. Starting to feel those little muscles burning in there for sure. Okay, here we go. Good job, good job. Give yourself a round of applause there. We've got two left, okay? Two left. Awesome, awesome work, nice. everyone. Awesome work. One left. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Last one coming. Feeling that upper back engage. Ten seconds left. Ten time. Awesome, good work, good work. So second exercise is done there. Ooh, we can recover. Recover, catch your breath. Um, third exercise we're gonna do is focusing on our lower body. It's gonna be a lateral lunge. So we're gonna be going back and forth with a lateral lunge, um, kind of that split stance. So as we're going to one side, loading one side, we'll be getting a stretch on the other side, okay? So give you about 30 more seconds, catch our breath. And then we'll go into the lateral lunge. When we're doing the lateral lunge, we're just gonna stay in that position, stationary lateral lunge. We go into one side, and then we'll go to the other. Okay, so back and forth. All right, good work, good work. Okay, so here we go with our lateral lunge. So get a nice wide stance like so. Okay, we're gonna bend the knee, bend the hip on the one side. That's gonna get loaded. Then we're gonna go to the other side, okay? So we can go back and forth. Um, nice and controlled, but you know, we can get ourselves moving, right? So I'm going to load this leg and then I'm going to push through that leg to get back to the middle. And when I'm loading this side, this side's getting stretched and time. I'm just going to stay in the position because we've got a little rest, let the legs recover and then we're right back into it, right? Okay, here we go. 
Loading that leg, driving up, and then onto the other side. Okay, you can have the hands out in front of you if you want. You can hold them like so. You could even have dumbbells if you wanted uh, to add a little more load to the legs. Okay, whatever you, uh, whatever works best for you and is appropriate for you. And time. Rest. So rest in. I want to get the heart rate up a little more. With the legs being involved, here we go again. Good, feel that leg load. Okay, nice and neutral through the low back, so we're not like arching to stay too upright. We're just keeping it uh, that neutral spine position as we go side to side. I'm gonna just change my position. I'll show a side view so you can kind of see what the back looks like. Not arching to stay up. I'm just keeping it nice and neutral. Okay, so here we go. You can see I'm hinging forward a bit. I'm not trying to stay too upright and kink my back. It's just staying in that nice neutral position as I go side to side. Okay. Shouldn't feel tension in your back, should feel it in your leg. And time. Rest. All right, so I think that brings us about halfway. Whew. Okay. In position, here we go. Holding that leg, driving up. Make sure the foot stays nice and flat that you're going on to, uh, so the weight's evenly distributed through the entire foot. We're going. And time. I need to get out of that position, take a little rest. So if you need to stand up, no problem. Okay, back in position. Let me get a big stretch there as I go from one side to the next. Starting to build up in the legs, folks. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. Rich. Okay, we got two rounds left. Doing great, doing great. Okay, we'll get in position. And time. Uh, sorry, time on that one. We got one left. Sorry, one left. One left. Okay, getting in position. This is our last one. Ooh, feeling those legs get loaded. Definitely feeling that stretch as I'm going from one side to the other. That's it. Finish strong. Good form. Good technique. Rest in the middle as you need, and that's time. Session. Good work, everyone. Good work. Let the legs recover. Grab a drink, grab a breather if you need. All right. Good work. Okay, so our next exercise. It's going to be a high plank with reach, okay? So we're going to be planking off our hands. Actually, I probably don't even really need my mat here. So we'll be doing the plank off our hands, and then we're just going to reach. So reach with one arm, get set again. Reach with the other arm. Really going to build up on the core, so you just pace the reaches um, as you feel comfortable, right? So if you're really feeling the core, maybe you just stay in a plank. Uh, if you're really feeling the core, but you can, you know, you take a few seconds rest, and then you can get another good reach then that's what you need to do for you, okay? Um, key again, feel the tension all through the core. We don't want to feel discomfort or uh, stress in the low back, okay? So if we need to drop down, take a little rest, uh, go for it, right? All right. Okay, so let's get down on the ground because we're gonna. that's where we're going to be for our plank. Okay. Um, and here we go. Starting session. Set. And here we go. So we're reaching, and then the core stays tight. Reaching. So you're going to feel those obliques engage as we're going through it. 
and you rest as you need. Try and keep that nice straight line from the core, or from the shoulders to the toes. And time. Rest. Okay, so we've got a little rest. Set again. Okay, here we go. Time for resting. So that's working everything. Your shoulders will be working, the core. Lots of activity on this one. Even the back of the shoulders, right? As we're reaching. All right, resting again. Good work, folks, good work. Again, I always say it near the end, the rest seems shorter. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm starting to get that burn. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get that burn through the core. I'm gonna focus extra hard on that te technique, take the rest as I need. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, we've got three left. Three rounds left. Keep it up. Keep it up. Doing excellent. Okay, here we go. Okay. Two more, two more. We got this. Starting to feel it kick in though, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Finish strong on this one. Oh. Ooh. One left, folks, one left. All right, here we go. And time. Session. Ooh, that was the hardest one yet. Okay, so we got a breather before we get into our last one. Get your breath. Grab that all important drink if you need. It's important to stay hydrated, especially on the hot days we've been having lately. Whew. Okay, so our last. Um, our last exercise is going to be a deadlift, and then when we get in the bottom position of the deadlift, we're going to do a T raise, okay? So for the upper back, so it's kind of a combo. Uh, so it'll look like this. Uh, we'll stand with the feet about hip width apart. So from a side view, I'm going to hinge forward in my deadlift, and then I'm just going to T raise up, and then I'm going to stand back up, okay? So hinge into my deadlift, back stays nice and neutral, shoulder blades squeeze together, and then back up, okay? So again, a good little combo, uh, hits the hamstrings, the glutes, uh, gets the low back working. So it's uh, good at holding us in a neutral position through the low back. And then we engage our upper back. All right, so let's do it. 
Okay, so get our timer started. Starting session. So get set up in that deadlift position. And here we go, folks. Hinge, squeeze those shoulder blades, standing up. Hinge, squeeze, stand up. Okay, try and keep that spine nice and neutral. Uh, your foot stays nice and flat as you hinge uh, down. And time. So get our little breather. This one's a good one because it gets whole body work and whole backside of the body, really. Okay, here we go. Hinge, squeeze, up. Hinge, squeeze, up. Stand tall, top core is tight, okay? We don't want to overarch our back at the top. We just want to stay nice and uh, neutral. Getting that good squeeze between your shoulder blades uh, when you come up to the top. Okay, we're resting. Four seconds left, so let's get set. And time. Okay. Three down, five to go. Doing good, doing good. Okay, get set again. You got it. Focus on that nice movement, hinging from the hips, and that good squeeze between the shoulder blades. And time. Rest. So that's our halfway point. Good job. And time. All right, last three. Doing really good. Last three. Breathe in, refocusing ourselves here. All right, two left. Doing good, doing good. Keep focusing on that technique. As we're getting a little fatigued here, make sure we're keeping that neutral spine as we hinge down. Here we go. So you only go as far as you can in that hinge while keeping a neutral spine position. Time. One last, last one. We're there, we're there, it's within reach. Okay, get ourselves set. Feel that upper back as you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. In between the shoulder blades, those muscles are working. Helping aid that good posture. And time. Good work, good work. We did it. We did it. That's another hip workout in the books. Grab a drink if you need. And then we'll just do a few little cool downs. So let's start focusing on that breathing. Big breath in, big exhale. Recovering, bringing our heart rate down. Okay, so if you want, grab onto a wall or something stable. We're going to do a quad stretch. Uh, pull your heel towards your bum, push your hip forward. Nice focus on that breathing. Okay, we'll hit the other side. Grab your foot, pull the heel towards your bum.
All right, we're gonna do a chest stretch. So hand can go on the wall, door frame, whatever it may be. We're gonna turn away from that. My left hand's up, I'm turning to my right. Gentle stretch to the front of my uh, chest on the left side, shoulder, even into my bicep. Breathing through that. Okay, and then we'll switch. So right hand's up, I'm turning the other way now. Excellent. And then from there, we're going to do a forward fold, okay? So we're reaching up, stretching out the back side of the body now, letting the weight fall forward, stretches us out. My legs are feeling a little shaky on the back side after all that work, so I'm not going to spend too much time down there, but forward fold, back up, reach. And we'll do one more. Reaching up. Weight of our body, drop us down, stretching everything out, and lock it back up. All right, so that's it. Uh, great work today, everyone. So that was our hip workout for today. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, have a great time, and we'll see you back again soon. Take care now.